Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of the sheet masks that I use during the month of May. So without further ado, let's get started. So for the month of May, I used, I don't know, I haven't counted them. So we're just going to just jump right on in. So I have a under eye mask that I use. This is from the brand number seven. It's called the Instant Results Revitalizing Hydrogel Eye Mask. And I think this was for moisturization. And um, Hydrogel Powerful Radiance Boost for Bright and Awake Looking Eyes. Suitable for sensitive skin. And I did like this. As a matter of fact, I went through my stash for this month and pulled all that I have. And I'm using those now because I like them and I want to use those. So I'm using those up. And I do like those. And I think those would be a contender to put on my repurchase list. The next thing I have is from Dr. Jart. And it's the Rubber Mask Hydration Lover. Um, this is the first time I've used one of these type of masks and I've, I've had it for a little while and I kind of kept putting off using it because I thought, because it had this little container here, this little container that sit in it like this this little container that sit in here. I thought this little container right here had some type of powder that you would have to mix with water and then put it all over the face and it would be like this rubber type mask. That's what I thought this was and so I kind of put it off because I just didn't really want to have to deal with mixing it up but it wasn't that. It was a, a cream that you just put all over your face. It was just a little cream, like a moisturizer. You put it all over your face and then inside the packet was a rubber type um, mask. And it was a two part mask that you put over the cream. And then you just left it on for 30 minutes and that's how that worked. So it was okay. I wasn't really that impressed with it, but it was different and plus these are expensive. So it should have really, really wowed me, but it really, really didn't. So I, I'm not going to repurchase any of these unless I find them at TJ Maxx for a lot cheaper than what they normally are. Now this one I really did like. This is the Too Cool for School, the Pumpkin 24 Gold Mask for Vitality and Radiance. I did like this and I would definitely put this on my repurchase list. You can get these at Ulta and if I'm not mistaken at Sephora, but I know for sure at Ulta because I just seen them there the other day. And then again, I have another, um, Avon um, mask from a new. Unfortunately, you can't get these anymore because Avon doesn't carry these any longer, but they have some new um, masks that you can get that are supposed to be even better than what these are. And I'm going to let you know in my description box, there are two links in my description box that um, from this point forward will be in the description box permanently. Um, so that those links will be there and one is a link to Annie's um, e-store e for her Avon e-store. So if you're interested in ordering anything from Avon, you can go to that link and that will take you to her e-store. So if you don't have access to a local um, Avon um, lady <laughs> um, or rep as they're called now, but um, that can help you order um, you can always go to her e-store i also have a link to her youtube channel because she also does a lot of um, videos on each campaign where she goes through some of the highlights from the um, they used to be called the campaign books but now they're called the book so she can um, she'll show the highlights of those every um, two weeks I think it is is how long the campaigns run but she would also be more than happy to answer any questions that you would have about 
any Avon products. So those two links to her YouTube channel and her Avon e-store is permanently in my description box. So if you ever have any need to order any type of Avon products, that's where you can go. Anyway, back to my sheet mask empties. From Claire's, I have the Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask. Absolutely love these. These are very hydrating, very soothing. Um, I enjoy using these. We'll be getting some more of these even when I get ready to do my repurchase. Um, I really like these. Used one of these this morning, so you're going to see another one of these in my um, June <laughs> sheet mask empties, but I do like those. And then from um, Dr. Glow Derm, the Eye Mask Night. This was in my... Um, Joa box that I had um, received complimentary to do a, a review on, and that was a Korean um, skincare subscription service box, and this was just an eye mask. It was okay. I didn't really. It was okay. It wasn't hydrating enough for me. It was just like a gel type product and um, there just wasn't enough hydration in it for me but it was kind of fun to use but anyway had that another one that i really do enjoy using and have um, good results and that is by dr dream and it's the dream age radiance facial mask in rose i do enjoy these and i do recommend these and if you like rose you will like these if you don't like the smell of rose you won't like these because they definitely do smell like rose so but I really like those and would repurchase those from Claire's the midnight blue calming sheet mask I don't necessarily care for these they're okay I have some more that I'm using up but these won't be in my repurchase whenever I get done with my um, stash that I have now which I should be done with all of my sheet masks that I have on hand now in August but anyway um, these won't be on my repurchase but they're for poor care cooling effect and they have the bamboo charcoal sheet and um, I don't know they're just not hydrating enough I like really hydrating I like sheet masks that are really going to show brighty brightness um, and radiance is what I like and then from Selkin the firming lift sheet mask they had this um, nothing to really impress me and not going to be repurchasing these the peach and lily good skin day drench and nourish these were a good one definitely hydrating and would be something that I would consider putting on my repurchase list Saturday skin the spotlight brightening mask definitely will be repurchasing these um, oh that's so washed out but anyway because it's a really light pink Saturday skin is a wonderful brand of Korean skincare I don't think there's been a product from Saturday skin that I haven't liked and I really do recommend especially if you're just getting started with um, Korean skincare products this brand is a wonderful brand to get started with um, it's sold at Sephora so you can easily um, go in and get some samples of it and give it a try but I do recommend Saturday skin the seven days mask and this one was in um, lemon so it's good for exfoliation definitely enjoyed this one did see results my skin definitely felt brighter and um, did enjoy this one this is one though that you wouldn't want to use like if you had three or four of these you definitely wouldn't want to use you know like one right after the other like three or four days in a row you would only want to use it once maybe twice in one week but just maybe once a week because it definitely did do some exfoliation then I had from beauty treats the charcoal purifying facial mask and this was in my stash for quite some time and I didn't really care for it I'm just not that big of a fan of charcoal mask I think it's because I have dry skin so this might have been more for um, oily skin but it says it hydrates and brightens but I just but then again it says it absorbs oil 
and it minimizes the appearance of pores, but I didn't really care for it. I'm finding the masks that are black, I don't, I don't really like. So I just don't like the texture of them, and I don't like the performance of them. Now this one I did like, and this is the Sea in Tree Snail Max Mask Sheet, which anything with snail essence in it, I'm going to like, so I did enjoy that one. The Leaders Break Up With Your X Skin Cells. This was a really good one for um, exfoliation, so definitely look for these. If you see them on, like at TJ Maxx, or if you see these on Holt Look, this is a really good one. Definitely seen some brightening and some just overall brightness and clarity to the skin. I really did enjoy that one. Here's another one that I liked, and I think this one came in one of my pink soul boxes. And this is, I have to put my glasses on to see the brand. What was the brand of this one? I don't know. Mm, I don't know what the brand of this one was. Hmm. But it says Smoothing Time Mango Mask Sheet for Deep Moisturization. Anyway, it looked like this here. I did like that, but I don't see what brand it is so it would probably it's probably going to be hard to repurchase it anyway so anyway I did like it though it just seemed to be very hydrating and this one is by wish trend it's the hours long moisturizing gauze sheet mask this one I like to leave on for at least 30 to 45 minutes because it was definitely um, one that the longer you left it on, the more benefit you seen from it because it was definitely very hydrating and um, I liked to leave it on that long so I could definitely get as much hydration from it as I could possibly get. So this was a good one that I liked to leave on while I was laying in bed watching um, television over the evening time. So, And I would definitely consider getting some more of these. Probably during their Black Friday sale from Wish Trend. So I do like to order products from that company. Another one that I liked, and this was the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Tinsel Sheet Mask. And this one was a good one. And this one was for moisturizing, soothing, and it had the tinsel gauze sheet. And I did enjoy using that one. Did that have the sheet in there? No. I like the essence on it because it was more like a milky essence as opposed to a really thin essence. So I did like that one. And then another one that I have that I really enjoyed, and this was an exfoliation one for sure. And this one has, on this side of the packet was a giant Q-tip that had the acid portion of the mask in it that you took and you rubbed all over your face. And you could definitely feel the tingle and then you took this part then and put it onto the face and you could definitely feel the exfoliation on this and this was from the brand primary raw and this was an AHA type um, exfoliation so I really did like this and I don't remember where I got this from but it was a um, two face two-step face therapy type of exfoliating mask but I did like that and I'm pretty sure this was the very last one of these that I had in my stash and I hope to goodness this was the last one of these <laughs> this I had purchased from Wish Trend blindly and I ordered a whole bunch of them and I didn't like them and it's the Panda Eye Essence Mask so I've I hope this is the last one. I didn't like them. The essence kind of burned my eyes and it was kind of runny so I always would get it in my eye and it would burn, burn like the dickens and um, I just didn't like it. But I'm bound and determined to finish all that I have so I hope I don't find any more floating around. Then from Naster I have a tea tree 
uh, mask and I really do like these. Matter of fact, for June, I had like four, maybe five of these that I have pulled out that I'm going to um, go ahead and, and finish up. But I do recommend that you keep some tea tree mask in your arsenal of sheet masks. So that way, if you get a, um, a pimple or a blemish, you know, you can pull out one of your tea tree masks to put on to help with that type of situation. They're really good for that. And then this one I liked, this was from Mediheal, which is a really good brand. And you can get these on Hot Look like very inexpensively. And this is the Abalone Proteini Mask. Definitely liked that, enjoyed using that. And this would definitely be a repurchase. So looking forward to getting some more of these whenever I get to start repurchasing some sheet mask. And then the last one I have is from Leaders. And Leaders, again, is another brand that if you're new to um, sheet masking and you don't know really where to start, Mediheal is a good brand to start with. Leaders is a good brand to start with. Naster is a good brand to start with. Um, what was some of the other ones that I had in here that are readily available. Claire's is another one that's good to start with that um, you can get them um, too cool for school. That was another one right here that you could go to Ulta or to Sephora and get those. So definitely those brands. But this is the, um, the white dressing that is good for brightening the skin. And I really do like those. So I finished that one up. So Let's count how many I had. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I used up 23 sheet mask and that included the one little eye one that I did so 23 sheet masks for the month of May I will tell you um, at the beginning of the month I pulled out um, what all I wanted to use for the month and I was about five short of what I wanted to use so but overall I'm really pleased with what I use so and for June I um, pulled out sheet mask to use for every single day for the month of June. So far, I'm right on track. Um, today's only the 5th of June. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm right on track though. <laughs> I've used five masks for the first five days of June. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see how I do. Hopefully I don't miss any days. But anyway, so that's it for um, my sheet mask empties for this month. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.